how to knit the bobble stitch with two colors. Hi, my name is Norman. I run the blog NimbleNeedles.com and today I want to show you everything you need to know about knitting bobble stitches in multiple colors. I feel this is a very fun way to upgrade the basic technique and turn it into something that says, how did you do that? And the best part, if you stick to a couple of easy rules, it's not even hard. So let's dive right into it. In my previous video, I already showed you how to knit the basic bobble stitch. If you haven't seen it already, I highly recommend watching it before you continue with this video. I'll link it to you up in here and in the description below because I'm not going to repeat everything I said in that video. Now, if you follow the standard instructions for the bobble stitch, but use a second color for the actual bobble, it's going to look like this. Pretty, but you always end up dragging the stitch one row below into your bobble. And I don't know if it looks all that neat. So here's how to fix that. First of all, we need to join in a new color because we're essentially doing fair isle or a stranded knitting here. So pick so one stitch before you want to knit your first bubble in the contrasting color. Join in the, the new color by placing the tail in between your working yarn and the stitch and then knit one stitch. And now pick up the new color and twist it around uh, the background color two times like this and then tuck on the tails and this will create a really really secure join but if you prefer any other uh, joining technique you can of course use and uh, that one as well and now we start knitting with the actual bobble and normally you would knit into that stitch but we will knit into the stitch one row below see we will knit into here and then place that stitch back onto the left needle maybe tuck on the tails in case they loosened up and then from here it's the standard bobble stitch technique so start with a kfbf knit front back and knit front again then turn around and purl across purl across turn around again knit across and turn around and purl across a second time so it's essentially three rows of stockinette stitch then turn around one last time and knit these three stitches together centered so slip to knit wise knit one and pass these two stitches over oops not that one pass these two stitches over and there is your bobble and now you can drop that yarn and pick up your background color again and continue knitting until you reach the next spot you want to place a bobble. Now the thing is if you want to bridge more than three stitches like I did here then um, you have to create floats on the back side so um, you have to um, do it like this. So bring um, the color up and knit one stitch and thereby you create a little float here on the back side. It's not necessary if you um, just bridge three stitches, but uh, if you're uh, bridging more, then you would have to do this. And um, the important part is um, stretch out those stitches as you knit. Don't have them bunch up like this because then your floats will 
be too tight. And when it comes to starting a new bobble, well, you pick up, uh, you cross, you twist um, the, the colors around, and then you simply start with the new bobble again, go into the stitch one row below, and here, as you knit this first stitch, it's really important that you stretch it out. Um, so this float here on the back side doesn't get too short. And from here, it's again, um, knit front back, knit front back and so on. I'm not, I'm going to fast forward here and um, then um, continue with the regular bubble stitch. Now I finished one row with the blue bubbles and there's something else I need to show you because as important as the actual technique for knitting the bubble stitch with two colors is, I also need to show you how to weave in the tails. Before I do, I quickly wanted to remind you that shooting these videos takes a lot of time and effort. A little like or a comment is a great way to support my work. So why don't you comment below right now and tell me if you've been struggling with weaving in ends or if you are like me and you are actually and you actually like it. Once you knit the last bubble in a row, you can simply cut away that color, leaving a tail of eight inches or so. And then when you start um, the next row, you want to place bubbles, you simply uh, weave in this uh, color again. Um, it can be the same color or a different one, whatever you prefer. Except of course you're knitting in the round then um, the tail will end up in exactly in the right uh, position and you don't need to weave in a new color. And once you've finished knitting your project, it's time to weave in the tails. And this is actually remarkably easy. So thread the tail on a tapestry needle and then find that bubble stitch and go through one of the stitches from behind and then simply tie a knot. Normally I don't like knots at all and I wouldn't recommend doing them because they can un unravel under stress and they're just so visible. But in this case we can simply hide it, the, um, the knot on the inside of the bubble and then go in one more time and tie another knot like this and now you can simply go through the bubble, pierce um, the stitches as you go and pull through the tail to the other side and then simply cut away the tail like this and this is how you weave in the ends and it's barely visible, see, and it is secure. Obviously you can also weave in with any other method you like. I mean, like this for example, this is a common way to weave in tails. But um, depending on the yarn, this can be visible. Uh, for example, um, I mean, if you're knitting with a dark Shetland wool, uh, this probably won't be a problem. But with um, this white cotton yarn, the tail will, will or might peek through and that's certainly not what you want. And you can hide um, the tail easily on the inside of that bubble. So I really recommend doing that. So to sum it up, the trick for knitting the multicolored bubble stitch really boils down to knitting into the stitch one row below and hiding the tails inside or rather underneath the bubbles. And I mean, once you understood that, you can of course knit bigger bubbles as well by increasing to four or five stitches and then knitting across three rounds. I showed you how to do that in my last video. Anyway, that's how to knit the bubble stitch with two colors. Please give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed my video, comment with your feedback or your questions, and of course consider subscribing to my channel in case you don't want to miss any new videos. Happy knitting and enjoy the rest of your day!